Yeah. So this concept of time poverty is the psychological experience of having too many things to do and not enough time in the day to do them. So people who feel time poor often feel conflicted between all of the things they want to do in their home life and all of the things that they feel that they should do in their work life. And I became interested in this topic in part because I was seeing the powerful effects that not feeling like you have enough time or time poverty had on subjective well-being. So I'm a PhD in social psychology, and my research during my dissertation focused on the topics of time, money, and happiness. I worked in a research lab that had a whole program of research findings showing that when it comes to our discretionary income, how we spend our next 5 or $50, we're not always good at knowing what's going to make us happy. We forego the opportunity to use our money in ways that can promote happiness. In my lab's research, people get a lot of happiness from spending money on others, but often fail to realize this happiness in advance. So people even who make uh, relatively large amounts of income don't give as much as they could or should. And, and we show that this would improve happiness, not only for individuals, but of course, for society more broadly. And so following from this line of research, my collaborators and I started to ask, well, if we're not always making good decisions about our discretionary money, we must also not be making very good decisions with the way that we spend time on an everyday basis. And in fact, as it turns out, although wealth should produce greater time affluence, we see that people who are wealthiest actually report feeling the most time pressed, in part because they're trying to do more with less in terms of their time. So I became really interested in understanding this pervasive phenomenon I was observing in my data. Over 80% of working Americans in the surveys I analyzed reported feeling time poor, like they had too many things to do and not enough time in the day to do them. And these feelings of time poverty had stronger negative effects on happiness than being unemployed. I've since replicated these findings in countries all over the world. So I really became fascinated with this idea of time poverty because it affects all of us in society, not just those who are making a lot of money, but also those who are struggling to make ends meet and those in the middle income bracket. And it has powerful effects on our mood.